Hello everybody, my name is Greg Maxwell with Amicus Settlement Planners. I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about use cases for attorney fee deferrals, okay? So again, an attorney fee deferral is where rather than taking all of your fee at the time of settlement, you defer it to future years, okay? That avoids the income tax in the current year and helps you plan, obviously, for future events. So typical cases that we see a lot, firms want to kind of smooth cash flows for the next five or six years. As you know, in a plaintiff contingency fee firm, the revenues can be up and down. One year's good, the next year's not, and sometimes it's hard to juggle that balance. So a lot of firms like to, if they get a big case, they like to just kind of level those cash flows by spreading that big case out over the next five years. That spreads the taxes out over the next five years, but then that, that firm knows, okay, I've covered my overhead for the next five years, gives them a little sense of calm, kind of takes them off that contingency fee roller coaster. So that's a very common option. Another very common option is attorneys just want to kind of provide for their own retirement. So they're 50 years old, they want to retire at age 60, they defer the funds to start at age 60 and pay for life or something like that. Kind of a less common idea that we've started doing in a few cases that's really an interesting idea is if you're an attorney and you've got young associates and you like the young associates and you want them to stick around, you can create what we call a vesting schedule for them through the use of a structured or an attorney fee deferral. So you've got an associate, he's been there one year, you like him, you want him to stay, you want to incent him to stay with the firm. When you get a case or a big settlement, you can say, look, talk to the associate and say, look, this annuity is going to pay in year four, five, and six, and it's gonna pay X amount of dollars those years. And so you have an agreement with that attorney that says, if you're here and you're with the firm, when those payments, when those payments come in, you get all of that payment or X percentage of that payment, right? And so if they're there and they stay, they get that per the contract that you have with that associate. If they decide to leave, then when those, when those payments come in, then they just come to your firm and they're yours. So it's kind of a way to kind of put the golden handcuffs on your associates that you want to keep around to kind of incent them to stay. And if they don't, then you know you haven't funded a retirement plan that they can take with them. You've funded a future payment schedule that if they're not there, it comes to your firm and you can use it however you like. So there's really a lot of ways you can get creative with attorney fee deferrals. So give me a call and I'd love to help talk you through it. I love talking about attorney fee deferrals. It's one of my favorite topics to chat with attorneys about. Like I've said before, contingency fee attorneys have a really unique opportunity with attorney fee deferrals to really regulate their own income and really plan for the future um, in a really unique way. So give me a call. I'd love to chat with you about it.